हेलो बच्चों लेट सी द स्टेटमेंट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग रिप्रेजेंट्स द करेक्ट कॉम्बिनेशन विदाउट एनी एक्सेप्शन सो हियर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर गिवन एंड हियर द क्लास टू विच दे बिलोंग इज गिवन सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द करेक्ट मैच सो लेट सी द स्टेटमेंट्स वन बाय वन सो फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज सकिंग एंड सर्क्यूलर माउथ जॉज एबसेंट इंटेग्यूमेंट विदाउट स्केल्स पेयर्ड अपेंडेजेज and here it is given that these are the features of class cyclostomata so cyclostomata these are the vertebrates these are the primitive vertebrates and they are without jaws so the jawless vertebrates are placed in class cyclostomata and here there are some peculiar features one is they are without jaws second is they do not have paired fins so paired fins are absent so do not have paired fins and in them scales are absent on the body so scales absent and they live in marine water so these are some features of the organisms which belong to this class now if we look here then uh, first is uh, sucking and circular mouth it is correct because cyclostome as these are without jaws and they have a sectorial mouth it means their mouth is without jaws and it is modified to suck blood from the fishes because the, they are parasites on fishes so they have a sectorial mouth which is circular and sucking jaws absent it is also correct integument it means the skin is without scale so it is also correct but paired appendages and in fishes appendages are fins so in them paired fins are absent but here it is given that they have paired fins so this is a wrong statement now the next statement is body covered with feathers moist skin and glandular four limbs form wings lungs with air sacs and this these are the features of class avis so let's see avis in this class comes all the birds so now the body of birds is covered with feathers now the skin of birds is a glandular it means no glands are there no mucus sweat or sebaceous glands are there so their skin is not glandular and moist but only one gland can be there at their tail region so this is the uropygial gland uro for the tail so they have only one gland that is present in their tail and this is the uropygial gland except this no glands are there so this statement that they are uh, they are having a glandular and moist skin so this is wrong their uh, four limbs are modified into wings so this is right and their lungs have some additional chambers which are meant for enhancing the efficiency of respiration during flying so these are right but this statement is wrong so this correct this is incorrect now if we move further then mammary gland hair on body pinnae two pairs of limbs and these are the features of class mammalia so in mammals the animals with mammary glands are placed so these are the animals with mammary glands which produce milk for the nourishment of their young one now presence of mammary gland is a feature of mammals then the body of mammals is covered with hair pinnae but pinnae are absent in case of aquatic mammals so aquatic mammals do not have pinnae so this is wrong with respect to mammals now if we move further then mouth ventral gills without operculum skin with placoid scales and persistent notochord and these are the features of chondrichthyes so chondrichthyes is a class in which all the cartilaginous fishes are capped so this is a class of cartilaginous fishes and cartilaginous fishes are marine fishes where the mouth is present on the ventral side gills are without gill cover and gill cover is known as operculum so it is absent skin is covered with placoid scales so this is also correct and they do not have a uh, bony skeleton their skeleton is composed of cartilages that's why they are kept in this class chondrichthyes so cartilaginous skeleton 
and the notochord which is a rod like structure derived from mesoderm it is uh, present throughout the life. So, these all features are correct with respect to this class. So, this is the right answer. So, here the correct combination without any exception is option D. So, it is our right answer. I hope it is clear. All the best, Bachchum.